Hey everybody, so I just got done recording a video about how to use a NAS in a Docker Compose container. Now, I did a terrible job of explaining what I'm actually doing at the beginning that I don't want to confuse viewers to think that this tutorial is how to make a Raspberry Pi 5 into a NAS. You see, I do have my Raspberry Pi 5, I do have a M.2 board, and I am testing that out, and that's going to be the next couple of videos that I put out. But for the meantime, this is not about making a Raspberry Pi 5 into a NAS, but rather mounting a NAS volume into a Docker Compose container. I just wanted to make that very clear. If you think that you found it helpful, please give it a like and it will help move the channel in a positive direction. Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a NAS network attached storage device to your Raspberry Pi Docker Compose containers. You see, over the last couple of months or so, I've been showing you how to make kind of like a big home server with a Raspberry Pi and so far, I kept it as simple as possible by storing everything in the micro SD card. But now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mount a network attached storage to your Docker container so that you can have like terabytes worth of hard drives connected and the Raspberry Pi can use them. OK, so last time I showed you how to install Jellyfin through Docker Compose and you can see the test movies that we were showcasing. Something that you probably don't know is that I already have a NAS, right? And I am using another server for my movies and I got all of these movies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to point the Raspberry Pi, the Jellyfin container to use this, which lives in my NAS network attached storage. And then I'm going to show you how to do the USB thing. OK, so I logged into my NAS, which uh, I'm using Open Media Vault for this. What we're going to do is we're going to create a user that will only have access to the Jellyfin media folder. That way we can then put those credentials on the Jellyfin Docker Compose container. So let's go to users and let's create a user. We're going to create code fallacy for this instance, and then the password, uh, choose a secure password and save. Okay. And this user belongs to the users group. I forgot the open media vault has some quirky UI thing. Like when you make a change, you then have to confirm those changes with this big yellow banner, but that's only something you got to deal with if you're using open media vault. Okay. Now that we have the credentials. I want to edit this. Give it permission to certain. OK, for now, we're just going to do read and write and then apply the changes. And now while those changes are being applied, let's go to our terminal and let's go to our Raspberry Pi. In this case, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4. Let's clear all of this. Let's go to the Jellyfin Docker Compose file. So nano docker compose the ammo. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create a volume, give it a name, then put the credentials of that, uh, the credentials that we just created into that volume and then pass it through here. So let's go here. Let's define a volume. So volumes, then we're going to give it a name. Let's give it, um, let's give it pi nas or something then let's do driver options and we're going to do type cifs then we're going to do device sorry device and then we're going to add the ip in this case the ip of my nas is 192.168.50.123 then we're going to give it the path of where the Jellyfin media lives. So we, in this case, we gave it access to the WD4 terabyte directory. And then inside of that directory, you probably didn't see it. There is a Jellyfin folder. And then inside of that folder, it's media. And then we need to give it the credentials so that the volume can log in by itself. So in this case, we're going to do username is going to be code fallacy. Then we're going to do a comma and then password. Oh, sorry. Just force of habit. It's going to be code fallacy as well. Oh, misspelled it. 
Then we're going to do versions equals 3.0. Then UEID is just going to be like a user. We're just going to put a thousand. And then GID, let's just do a hundred. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go here and what we're going to do is that we're just going to mount the data folder. Let's comment these out. And what we're going to do is we're going to do PyNAS, which is the name of the volume that we created down here. And then we're going to mount that to the media folder. Or in this case, data. And then control O, control enter X, and then Docker compose down and Docker compose up dash D for detach mode. Okay. Now let's go to the jellyfin. Um, and we're going to be adding media. So let's go to the dashboard dashboard. We're in the admin dashboard. Let's go to libraries and then let's just, um, we're going to add a library and then we're going to go to movies and let's mount the folder data. And then you can see the options that we had in the NAS and we're just going to click movies here. Okay. And it's going to be named movies. Actually, since we're using this one now, let's just remove this one because this is no longer going to be an option for us. Let me just remove this as well. Yes. Delete. It's going to take a minute. See it renamed it movies too, but because we are using the NAS or the uh, network attached storage, we should now have a lot more movies in here. Let's go and let's just do a little check. And then if we go to dashboard, let's go back. You should be able to see a lot more movies than we, you used to be able to before. So if you go click on this, okay, it is working. It's just taking a really long time because there's just a lot of movies. Now you can see her. This is one of the movies that I have. You can see Lightyear. It's just going to take a long time because it's scanning all of the media. So if we go back to settings and then dashboard for the dashboard app board, you can see that the, the process of scanning the media library is taking a long time. So I'm just going to pause it and come back when it's done. Okay. So I have a lot of media and it's taking some time to process, but I think that it sh we should be able to see at least a couple of movies. So if we go back to home, you can see some of the movies are already here and let's click on Mars attack, for example, and look at that. We are now playing a movie from the NAS that I have, which is pretty awesome.